Join me as we create these two pet protection ideas. I am excited. I love creating these logos on Canva. Our first one represents the pet and the shield because it's protection. We're going to do this one and we're also going to be creating a much more creative kind of a vibe. Let's jump in and create these two amazing logos. You're going to scroll down and go to your logo canvas and open a blank Canva logo. Because this is a pet protection or some sort of a protection, in my mind, the shield came into being. Into, because shield represents protection. So then you're going to go to your search functionality and you're going to look for shield on your elements. You're going to scroll down until you find a graphic that has a space on it like this one and you click on it once and you add it to your canvas and then you drag and you highlight and you make it nice and big you will then make the canvas itself you change the color and you make the canvas black and then we, we we're gonna run with a gold color of our logo for this company and you're then going to press T to add text and you're going to change the text. You're going to use Anton font for this one. And the name of the company, you're going to put it between the shield's name. You make that a 70 and you move it just that the T is a little bit out as well as the P it's out and it is right back in the middle of your shield. Then you're going to go back to your elements and you're going to look for paw because this is a pet protection logo. Then we look for a nice paw, anyone that you could find that you like, you use that and you're going to just make an eye dot for your paw. So our pet first, the paw is going to be the dot for our eye. So this represents the animal because somebody, when they look at the logo, they see that this is a protection of pets and this is the company name. And that's your first idea, as easy as that. Next one, you're going to be using paws as well. For the, for the next one, you just use your lines. So you're going to press L for a line and you're going to make the size of your line. Let's make it like a eight. in the border, you're creating a border rather. So if you zoom in, you're able to manage your elements exactly the way that you want to see them look like after your design. I'm going to make the second border to be a little bit less just for design's sake. Then you're gonna press T for text and you're going to make the font of this one to be pet-like. So we're gonna use new Machina Ultra Bond for this one. So we're gonna go and scroll down and use this one. We're then going to go to our text and we're not adding a heading this time. We're adding a subheading. We're going to be using our subheading as a tagline for the company just below. The last thing that you're going to do is you're going to go back to your poll and you're going to add your paw so that it also represents and shows that you are protecting pets. So we're going to add three paws for design. And there is your second design. Done. And what you're going to then do is to download these designs in a transparent background. So you're going to go on share and you say download 
and you select transparent background and then if you don't have the canva pro you're welcome to scroll to my description below and then try canva for 30 days see how you like the pro version and using the transparent background i love it it is awesome we're going to jump to photo p now and convert to 3d once we get to photo p we're going to go to psd templates and we're going to pick a mock-up from the mock-ups that are loaded here you're more than welcome to go check out the mock-ups that i've added on my description below and check and see if you want to download mock-ups i'll link a video below to show you how you can download your own mock-up we're going to pick this mock-up for our exercise and we click on the mock-up and we click on photop.com and we wait for it to open once the mock-up has opened you're going to double click where it says your logo here on the checkered box so that it opens up the mock-up and you will hide the group by clicking on the eye then you're going to drag your logo that you've downloaded from canva size it align it and then you're going to go file save as smart object if you don't see save as, as smart object that means you've skipped a step go back one and see what you've missed and once it has saved as smart object you're going to click once it says logo mock-up and you wait and your gorgeous looking logo is created and it looks absolutely stunning you're going to download it as file export as you'll decide your format that you want to export it as png jpeg it's up to you so let's quickly convert the second logo mock-up <laughs> just to give you an idea of how it would look like on a business card that's how it would look like on a business card you could change the text and make that black so that it pops our canvas still gives us amazing looking designs if we are creative and we come up with awesome ideas you're welcome to go and look at two more ideas that you could be creating when you're using an H letter I will see you on the next video